okay, so this is an off-the-shelf um, pre-configured product that we've designed for portable welding. Uh, currently here we have a Yaskawa HC20 Kovac, so I can be in this cell. Um, if I touch this thing while it's moving, it'll stop. Yeah, that's the idea of the Kovac. Um, on, on our portable cart, so this, this Yaskawa robot has 90 inches of reach, which is really nice because you can set up multiple pictures on one table or a larger cart on a table. Uh, and, and, and weld a much larger part than, your, than most of your off-the-shelf uh, portable cobotic welders. Uh, we're using a Peronius PPI uh, 400 welder here that's wicked and cool uh, with lots of cool features. Um, you have your push-pull system so this can do aluminum. You also have your boomerang up here. You can you know, agitate the wire for your CNC process. Uh, you also have over here you want to do any manual welding or you see something that you want to fix, um, there's a manual flip switch on this uh, control unit here that will turn on the manual welder. So you can grab it manually with the manual tor torch. You have your reamer and wire cutter here. The wire cutter is nice uh, to help you keep that wire tip the exact same length every time for touch sense purposes. We'll go through some touch sense applications here in a minute. The other thing about this portable cart is you have four jacks here and lock and casters. And we also have some options here. You can put this robot on a riser, whatever riser height you need, whatever reach, as well as you have a locking uh, docking station, which, you know, if you have multiple cells, you're going to take this portable cart too. You can pull it right in, you know it's set up in the right position, and then you can just hit go on whatever part type you guys are intending to run. So, that is the basic option. We're going to go ahead and actually show the reamer function here. Uh, you're going to see it uh, clean the tip, and then you're going to see the tip get cut. And that's, again, important for your touch sense. And again, being a cobot, I can touch this and stop it. But it's safe to be in the cell with the cobot. 